What's going on guys, Bills from Achievement Land, and I'm here with an Xbox One Achievement Review slash walkthrough. I'm going to go through all the achievements and show you how to get them. This game was developed and published by Blowfish Studios and released January 17, 2017 for a price of $19.99. You can pick this game up on the Xbox Marketplace or on Windows 10. It's not a Play Anywhere title and it has the same achievement list, so it doesn't have two different lists. I wish there was though because then I'd buy it again and get all the achievements again. But anyway, there's only 12 achievements in this game and they're very easy. You can do everything with two controllers in multiplayer or you can play online. There's online multiplayer. Or you can even get them in the campaign if you want, but it's easier just doing it with two controllers. These achievements are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to go through how to get each one of them. This one like destroying a tower same time as you get destroyed. Shoot down an air unit with a keg. Destroy a tower with a building projectile. These are very easy, simple things to do. Change a cow into a mad cow. There's a spell you to shoot at a cow. Crash air units into each other. Kill the tower with a full power trait bucket shot. Caught a cow with a dragon. Hit 10 enemy units with a freeze spell. Chain 4 towers with a single hex curse. Hit 10 units with a keg. It's best to use the lizard when you're shooting the keg, and uh, I'll show you how to set it up and everything. It's a little tricky, but it's not too bad. This last achievement, Blitzkrieg, this one right now needs a patch. You can get it if you get lucky, but um, it's a little glitchy at the moment. You just have to hit eight friendly units with the haste spell. It's really easy to do, but for some reason it's not popping. I can show you what I did to get it to pop, but it's not guaranteed to work. But let's go through all the achievements. First, you want to go to uh, multiplayer. Keep it on local. Keep it on real time. Don't put it on turn based. And I like Kratos Valley, the first level. It's pretty short, close together. And I know where everything is. Now, you can pick from two different uh, like species there's the human guys or the lizard guys. They have like different stuff. It's basically just the spells that are different. And uh, some of the air units, like the dragon and stuff. So, you might have to switch around between them for a couple of achievements. But right now, we're going to make one lizard, one human. And if you're doing two controllers, you only have one profile signed in, you can get the achievement on either side and it will still pop for you. So, now starting out the game, outposts are like your main buildings. They can build anything from them. Some uh, buildings, they require gold or this other blue ore, whatever it is. So you just send a building over to each one, and then you can build everything. There we go. Alright, first let's uh, start out with the dragon achievement. You gotta look for a cow. I have a cow right by me. So to make the dragon, you gotta do a garrison. Send the garrison out. And then you gotta do the hatchery. This one needs the gold and the blue, so make sure you have both of them so you can send it out. Now you just send the dragon right towards the cow, the closer the better. And he'll go and scoop him up. And there's your achievement. Alright, on to the next one. We'll do the tray bucket shot. For this one you need the armory. tray buckets right here. Now what you can do is uh, take the tray bucket and shoot it out and see where it lands on your full shot. And then you can go on your other controller and you can build an outpost right where it was. Okay, I went a little over but not a problem. Just build the outpost a little bit back. There we go. And now take your tray bucket and shoot it. It's going to take two shots. Alright, there we go. Nice and easy. Now for the next one, you want to destroy a tower with a building projectile. So just set one up in front of you. You can hit it with a keg first. It will lose more damage. But just keep hitting it until it blows up with an outpost or whatever. It doesn't matter what building. There we go. Alright, next one. 
We're gonna do the mad cow. You gotta use the lizard team to do this. Send out the temple. Send out the totem. And there's the madness. Send the madness out near the cow. The cow will change. Then your achievement will pop. Cows go moo when they boom. <laughs> Alright. So let's do the next achievement here. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. So that you can uh, get a bunch of your guys together. You can do this with both sides. Just want to kind of block it off so they can't get out. Now, for the lizard side, you want to build the war camps and the barracks. For the human side, it's uh, the garrison and then do the barracks. I can build another barracks here. There we go. You don't have to build too many. There's only a limit to how many guys come out anyway. Just leave it for a little bit, then the guys will start coming out and you'll have a bunch of guys. And then after you're ready, you can destroy the outpost that's blocking your path. And once destroyed, they'll start moving out. You can do this for a couple of the achievements. Like the one where you have to hit 10 units with one keg. And the two spells. I'm going to do right now the free spell. I got to build on this side. The free spell is only for the humans. You got to build the library, the spire. Now you want to use the freeze aura on them. These are enemy units, so you shoot them at the guys on the other side. And there you go. There's the achievement. You can even try to do the hit 10 guys with a keg, but it kind of works better when you use the lizard. I haven't had it work with the TNT with the human guys. All right, so here's another achievement. If you destroy a building that has five other buildings attached to it and it destroys them, you'll get this achievement. It's a very easy achievement. Uh, just have towers built off of one tower and then you just blow up the one that's the first one of the link. All right, now let's do the next one. We're gonna do the, the hex curse. Now I'm the lizard side. The, only the lizard side has the hex curse. I'm connected to the, the gold so that I'm able to use the hex curse. Um, I'm gonna do some damage to all these buildings so that they're easier to destroy. I'm gonna leave the first one though. I'm not gonna damage that one at all. So you wanna use the hex curse. Like I said with the lizard, use the totem. Now once you get the hex curse, make sure it's on the first build and you'll see it like circled in green. And you wanna destroy it. Don't worry, there's a decent amount of time. I think there's like 20 seconds or something. Once you destroy it, it will go to the next building in line, and it will reset the timer. Now this one's already damaged, so it should only take one shot. God, if I can get the shot. There we go. Alright, next one in line. There we go. Next one. Once you know what to do, this is a very easy achievement, and you just gotta set it up right, and it'll make it even easier. There we go, locked down. All right, for the next achievement, we're gonna set it up a little different. Got our outpost here. Now we're gonna do the one where uh, you destroy a building as you're getting destroyed. So I have one outpost already damaged. So one hit will destroy it. I'm going to send out another outpost over here. Make sure a full shot hurts it. Now I'm doing this by myself right now with two controllers. It's not that hard. I'm just going to hold one. Just get it set up. Hold it with the analog stick set up. And then I just have to hit A to shoot it. Now with the other controller, I'm going to set it up. Once it's right, I'm just going to shoot it off. There we go. Now shoot the other one really quickly. And there's the achievement. It's really not that bad at all. Alright, on to the next achievement. We're gonna do, um... 
We're gonna do the airships where they crash into each other. So, you wanna get it set up. Shoot some outposts out. Then you wanna shoot a war camp out. This one you have to do with the lizards. Make sure they're both lizards for this one. Workshop. And you need gold too, so make sure you shoot your outpost over to the gold on the side. Now we're going to do it with the other side. You don't want to shoot it out yet. We're going to wait till they're both set up. Make sure they both have gold. There we go. You can put them pretty close to each other. War camp and the workshop. Alright, now, so you want to do this one. Top left over here. You can click A so it's set up to shoot. And then line them up shooting at each other. There we go. Oh, well. Come on. Alright, there we go. Once they're lined up, both shooting at each other, you just hit A. There we go, that should be good. Just hit A, we'll send them both out, and they'll crash in midair. And you'll get your achievement. There we go. Full speed ahead. So as you can see, these achievements are very easy to do in two-player mode. That would be really hard to do in a campaign. You would have to get really lucky. <laughs> Alright, the next one we're going to do, we're going to shoot down an airship. You want to shoot out your airship with the humans. And then I like to shoot it down. You can use either the humans or the lizards, but I like to use the lizards when using TNT stuff. There we go. It's a little tricky to hit him dead on, but shouldn't take that long to get that achievement. Nice 100 point one too. All right, so now we're gonna go for the one where you have to kill 10 units with a keg. So you wanna set up one side, have the barracks out, having guys come out. I put two spires over here so I can try the haste aura achievement. The one I said is glitchy right now. I can show you basically how to do it, and then after this, I'm going to show you what I did, how I set it up to get it. Alright. I'm going to blow open the outpost so it opens up and lets the guys out. There we go. So the haste achievement you can do too, the only thing is it's uh, broken at the moment, there will be a patch soon. I overshot it but <laughs> if you shoot it at them, you have to get 8 of them in one aura and they will pop. Right now it's uh, not working though, but I can show you after this achievement, I'll show you how I got it. Alright so we're going to go to the other side here, the guys are starting to build together. I like to use the lizard outpost, shooting the boomba instead of the TNT, because it doesn't like set a fire after. Just shoot it at them when they're all bunched together, and if you hit 10, you'll have your achievement. Alright, so that's all the achievements. All that's left is the haste one. Like I said, that one is kind of glitchy at the moment. They are going to have a patch come out and fix it eventually, but... Until then, I'm going to show you what I did to get it. You can also use this method to get it yourself. It makes it easier. I just did it in the last one. I set up more libraries and spires. But you can actually set up a lot of them and just keep spamming them with the shots. That's how my, I got mine to pop before the patch to fix it. 
I had to shoot them so many times and eventually the achievement just popped. Now this isn't guaranteed to work for you, I just want to show you what I did. Set up a bunch of spires, then you're gonna set up the garrisons and barracks. set them up you just let them chill for a little bit let them build up with guys all right once it's built up you want to use the TNT and break it open there we go once it's broke open the guys will start heading out On the other side, you want to build a bunch of uh, towers, libraries. You can make like a zigzag uh, form with them so that it makes the guys like bunch up together more. You do that for the 10 kill achievement too with the keg. The haste spell takes 43 seconds to uh, cool down after using one. So it's kind of good to build a lot of them. So what I did to get this achievement to pop, since it's broken at the moment, I just kept shooting them over and over and over again with the haste. I just built a lot of spires and libraries. When I did it, it actually didn't pop when I first had them go through. They went through and then I killed them, like I'm doing right now. You could probably get your achievement there as well with the shoot 10 guys with a keg. But that's why I said the TNT isn't good. Because it lights them on fire and that actually doesn't count if it kills them with the fire. That's why it's better to use the lizard for the achievement to try to do that. But anyway, when I got this achievement it was lagging like crazy. And it was the second time around. And I just kept shooting them with haste and eventually it just popped. So I might have got lucky, I don't know what the deal is, but that's how I got it. But don't worry if you don't get it now. They said they know about the problem and they'll fix it. And once they fix it, it should be just, you just shoot one at them and you'll get your achievement. It gets so laggy after you shoot so many of them. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. Those are all the achievements, and that's a walkthrough how to get all of them. Like I said at the beginning, it's a very easy completion, only a couple hours. There's just that one achievement that's glitchy right now, which shouldn't be that much longer. I will put an update in here once it's fixed to let people know. But thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more achievement reviews and walkthroughs and previews, make sure you check out the YouTube and the website, AchievementLand.com.